All right, guys. So it is the morning of the 8th of July, Sunday. Now, already we have passed the time where LR Gogeta and Vegito were supposed to release uh, on Global Dokkan according to the release schedule. As you guys can see, the cards are not here in the schedule. They are actually already active in-game. If you're on Global right now and you go to look at the Dokkan Awakening list, they should be there. Or if you go check links, uh, they will be there. They are active on the game, but the banners have not dropped. Now, many people were surprised at this. Uh, many people have been kind of, uh, how do I say, confused uh, in terms of where the banner is. But this is really nothing more than a pattern that Dokkan has been doing uh, probably ever since... The last time this happened that I can remember for JP was the two-year anniversary. That was really when Global and JP kind of wised up, although Global did have the very, uh, how do I say, I guess, uh, not a good luck for Global when Int Gogeta and SDR Genema came out. If you guys remember, uh, when those units came out on Thanksgiving Day, uh, there was actually a uh, a big like maintenance problem where the game was crashing constantly. It was in maintenance all day. People were trying to summon for Int Gogeta and SDR Janemba and weren't even able to. Like it was just a, like a big fiasco. Uh, basically, what we have here is this is their new strategy, right? Ever since then, they don't want people to like kind of instantly jump into the game and like crash the servers or destroy it there was huge issues when the super saiyan 4s came out uh goku and vegeta on global njp the game had constant con connectivity issues servers were crashing because everyone jumps in and they try and summon all at once and it's just a big issue so they first did this with super saiyan 4 gogeta and omega shenron um i could tell already that people don't remember how these events transpired but when that happened, both of the banners were supposed to go live on Global and JP at the same time. Then a maintenance was announced out of nowhere. And then many people were not able to get into the game. But slowly in waves, people were able to get into the game. And that's where people found out that the banners were active. They were live. People were able to summon. People were getting Omega. They were getting Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta. All of this stuff was going on. Now, again, this did then happen again uh, for JP with uh, SCR Rose and Tech Vegito Blue. I'm going to show that in one second. I just wanted to, to show this that like, see, they say like 7, 8 on here, but there's no time given. For these big, big monster dual Dokkan Fest type banners, they no longer give times because I saw people saying that they thought the anniversary banners were coming on the 7th. And I, like I was trying to tell people on Twitter and stuff, well, no, it, the banners are actually going to be several days away. I, I'm pretty sure it's going to follow the format JP had, where the countdown to the third year anniversary begins, the third year anniversary starts, and then the banners will drop two or three days later. And, like, people were telling me, well, we, we'll just wait for the in-game time they give us in-game. And I was trying to say, like, no, they're not going to give us a time because they don't want the servers to crash. And here we are, where we're really left with not a lot of info. Well... Kinda. We, we do know for sure when the banners are, are going to drop. I'll get to that in one second. But, like, see, even this date right here, this is, like, kind of wrong. Because I think on the East Coast, when th these units are going to drop, it is actually going to be the 9th. But, you know, it well, it is uh, in PSC time, so whatever. But, see, if I go back, uh, where is... Yeah, this is it right here. Okay. Uh, this is on JP. This is a video I made on December 26, 2017, when uh, out of nowhere, all of a sudden, you know, Tech Vegito Blue and SCR Rose Goku Black were kind of announced and they were coming. Now, if you guys look on, on here, the 27th at 9.05 p.m., this time on DBZ Space passed back then and the units did not actually even release. Uh, they actually released uh, several hours after this. That's why, like, I think even right here just on this playlist I could show you guys, I had a part one and a part two for my summons because part one was this time right here on DBZ Space where I went live, but the banners did not drop. drop. So then later on that night, I did a part two when the banners actually did properly drop. Another unit 
that did not drop when the time was listed on DBZ Space is actually physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Uh, he came out right around this time on Global, uh, the end of December. He had a time listed uh, on DBZ Space, but he actually did not come out at that time. So, like, they've done this with these units. Now, these units did not have maintenance, but these units did right here. LR, Gogeta, and Vegito. Here was the announcement for them uh, over on JP. This was January 29th, and these guys actually uh, ended up dropping on the 1st. So, as you guys can see, like, they do this, where they won't give us a time, they kind of, like, bide their time, wait until the right moment, and then they hit us with this right here, a server maintenance announcement. So, this right here should be when LR, Gogeta, and Vegito, the banner, will go live, is right here. Exactly when this maintenance begins, uh, the banners will go live on the game. Some people... Are going to be able to get into the game. Some people are going to be able to summon. And like again. It's going to be a big shitstorm. It always is. Because people are going to be like. W I can't get in the game. Why can't I get in the game. But he's able to get in the game. I want to get in the game. I want to summon. He's able to get in the game. He's summoning. I want to summon. That's what people are going to be saying. But they're not really going to be able to. It it's, they do this. This is actually smart. I actually really do uh, like this strategy. Because what causes the servers to crash. Is everyone pressing that summoning button. At the exact same time. So by doing this. Staggering the logins on this maintenance. People aren't going to be able to just hammer that summon button non-stop. You know slowly people will be let into the game. By the time the maintenance is over. And everyone is into the game. You know many people who are going to summon. Have already completed their summons. So the game doesn't crash. There's not server maintenance. You know everything is just very good. So I like this strategy. Uh, this is clearly what they're going to employ, uh, employ this time right here. And so we know the date. Uh, it looks like basically this clock right now, it's 9.33 a.m. Basically when this is like 12.30 a.m. is when this maintenance, I believe, uh, should be dropping. Well, 12.20 a.m. Uh, for my time. So it's, we're what, uh, 15 hours away from the banners being live. So I would say, you know, everyone go ahead and be prepared because uh, these banners are going to drop. They're going to be very hype. Here is what the banners are going to be. Now, uh, I'm seeing a lot of people are like saying they think the banners are going to change. Uh, I do not think so at all. Another reason I really don't think these banners are going to change is because Vegito and Gogeta were just uh, recently brought back on J uh, JP for the first time. And these four fuckers followed them onto featured onto the banner as well. So, it seems like these units are just always going to be featured when LR, Goji, and Vegito are around, which is really quite annoying. Because while these units are okay, they're nothing special, right? So, these are what the banners should look like tonight. I don't think Tech Vegito Blue is going to be added to either of these banners. I don't think Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is going to be added to either of these banners. I think what you guys are seeing right here is exactly what you're going to get. Um, I don't... Like, if I had to say which banner is better to, it's definitely the Gogeta banner. Because uh, in Gogeta, SDR, Janema, Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, like, really all three of those units are still top tier units, right? Where over here, I mean, I, I do struggle to call Physical Vegito Blue. Uh, he is a top tier unit, but, like, even Ink Kid Boo, it's kind of like you just want to get LR Vegito or Physical Super Vegito. The rest of the units are just kind of meh. I, I say the problem with Physical Vegito Blue is that they released a free-to-play unit who's basically just as good as him, uh, LR Vegito Blue. So everyone's got him, you know, rainbowed, ready to go, whereas not everyone has Physical Vegito Blue rainbowed. And then, like, Super Vegito is good, but, you know, he, he is still an older unit that's been on a million banners, so I'm sure a lot of people have him. And then Buhan is just not really relevant anymore. So, here you go, guys. Uh, here's the banners. They will be dropping again in about 15 hours' time. Uh, I do think they're going to be dropping uh, tonight at about midnight when the server maintenance uh, does go live. I also had this. This is when they dropped on Global. If you guys remember on Global, same thing where, you know, the time came they were supposed to come out. They did not actually get released. Uh, you know, th they do this constantly. So, good luck to everyone. Uh... Everyone is always asked. A recent thing has happened where people have been asking me, Truth, where is your global account? What happened to your global account? Forgetting that I gave my global account away on video. Like, you could still bring the video up. 
uh, when the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta on Bulma cards came out on Global, I gave my Global account away. Well, because people are always asking about it and stuff, I decided to create a Global account. So, I will be doing summoning uh, summons for LR Super Gogeta and Super Vegito on Global. I decided to create a fresh Global account, and I am ready to jump into some summons for LR, Gogeta, and Vegito. So I will see y'all there tonight. Again, good luck to anyone in the banners. And remember, they're going to let people in waves. You will be able to get into the game. It just might take some time. Thanks for watching, y'all. And I'll catch y'all tonight when them fucking banners go live, my boys.